Welcome back. Now, flood waters have started receding in many parts of flood ravaged Assam, but there is no end to the misery of those people who live, uh, especially on the banks of the Brahmaputra. Now, the river has literally swallowed up their homes. And RTI has revealed on paper nearly 11,000 crores have been spent, but on the ground, flood control measures seem insufficient. Now, the BJP has actually demanded a white paper on this. NDTV has a special report. <laughs> पानी में चला गया कोई वस्तु भी चला गया खेत भी चला गया आपको 53 ईयर ओल्ड विष्णु ग्वालास लाइफ चेंज्ड इन लेस देन 60 मिनट्स द फ्लडिंग ब्रह्मपुत्र वॉश्ड अवे हिज होम एंड हिज लैंड नदी में तो बहुत माटी चला गया बह गया सब सब बह गया फ्लड्स एज एन एनुअल रिचुअल इन असम इज परहैप्स वेल नोन बट व्हाट इज लेस वेल नोन इज दिस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इरोशन पीपल ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ Brahmaputra living under constant fear, not sure when the mighty river will swallow up their fields, their land, and their homes. At Boguri Tolia village in Upper Assam's Dibrugar district, seven families have lost everything their cattle, their crop, and their homes. Akshay Maji, a daily wage laborer, can barely hold back his emotions as he shows us. His flood ravaged fields. वो हमरा तो घर वो बार सब चला गया, बाड़ी चला गया, जंगल चला गया, और हमरा अभी तो खेत भी जा रहा है, तो हम क्या करें अब? हम तो कुछ भी बोलने भी नहीं सकते, करने भी नहीं सकता हूँ अभी, यही समस्या आता है. Every year, 8,000 hectares of fertile land gets eroded, and since 1950, the Assam government says. 4.27 lakh hectares have been lost to floods and erosion. An RTI query revealed between 2005 and 2011, nearly 11,000 crores were spent on flood relief and rehabilitation of victims. Measures on the ground seem grossly inadequate. Union Minister Sonowal, who is from Dibrugar, has now demanded a white paper on the use of funds. This is the constitutional duty of a state government whatever your money you have received from the center and where, how you have spent it. That is to be, you know, known to the people of this state. The, government of Asame, the, the Congress in turn has accused the BJP of politicizing the floods. As the CAG, every, every year, they ask for the utilization of the uh, UC certificate, mm -hmm. utilization certificate. If there is any doubt uh, from the side of the central government, they can ask any clarification from the state government. Villagers say the local administration has given them rations for a few weeks and promised to rebuild their homes. Until then, people are trying their best to salvage what is left of their present. In Dibrugar with Sanjoy Chakravarti, Sandeep Pukan, NDTV. Well, flood waters of the Brahmaputra have receded, but people who live on the banks of the Brahmaputra constantly face the threat uh, of floods every time there's heavy rain every time the water level rises and that's why as we speak you can see that uh, workers are working on uh, increasing the height of the embankment that has already been increased by about seven eight feet and then uh, lining the embankment with a layer of concrete uh, the reason for that of course is uh, as we've reported erosion is a big problem Dibrugar town in fact is uh, an example of uh, how land uh, could be lost uh, because of erosion. People say that almost seven kilometers of land has been lost in about uh, 65 years uh, because of erosion, because of the problem of erosion. And that's why, uh, to prevent that, the government is uh, building a layer of concrete on the embankment uh, so that people who live on the other side uh, of the embankment, the houses which is on the other side, uh, don't constantly face the threat of flood. In fact, in recent times, Dibrugar has seen one of the worst waterlogging and floods uh, because uh, because of heavy rainfall and uh, there was water in the town for for as long as six days that's something uh, the government wants to prevent from a repeat uh, and that's why they're building the embankment as well as trying to clean up the drain that can lead uh, the water that gets collected in the town out into the brahmaputra with camera person sanjay chakravarti sandeep pukan ndtv